So I was talking about uh, gravity, and in particular, I was showing this demo of how uh, you can make very small interactions noticeable by letting them rotate horizontally. And, and that's what happens here. This is the Cavendish experiment. It's super important because it allows us to measure the gravitational constant between masses. Normally we talk about interactions with the Earth and that's pretty easy to measure because it's a very significant force. But the gravitational constant is so small, it's so difficult to measure. So what this does is there are two of these uh, very massive lead balls right there. And inside of this glass case to protect it from wind and things like that so it doesn't move is a let me move this, a horizontal, if I drop that, that's been really bad, a horizontal bar with two smaller masses. Now, right now, they're supported. I'm going to let them go. I'm going to lower these so they can rotate. And see, now you can see that they're free to move. And what's going to happen if I put these lead balls near those two small lead balls? Now there's going to be a gravitational interaction between the small mass and the large mass, and it's going to cause that stick to turn this way. And you can, we can measure the motion of that stick with that mirror. You can shoot a laser on that and see where the laser moves. Um, it's a very, 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 let's say very, very small interaction. But if I know the, the twisting force of that wire, how much force it takes to twist it, which we can measure in different ways, then I can get the gravitational force between these two masses as a value. I can measure their two masses because I know they're lead. I can measure the distance between their centers because I know where they are. And I can calculate the one thing I don't know, the gravitational constant. Now, I just wanna, I'd like to point out for a second how awesome that is, because if you measure the gravitational constant, you can do a bunch of stuff. I can use the gravitational force between some other object, even this in the Earth, and calculate the mass of the Earth. I could use that gravitational constant to look at how moons orbit Jupiter, and I can measure the mass of Jupiter. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, I can measure the mass of the Sun, uh, or calculate the mass of the Sun. Uh, I can, once I know the volume of the Earth, which I Aristotle found the radius pretty, did a pretty good job. No, Aristarchus. Now, it wasn't Aristotle, it was Aristarchus, wasn't it? Yeah. And I know the radius of the Earth, I know the volume of the Earth, I know the mass. Now I can find the average density. I mean, it's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. And so that's one way to find that gravitational constant is with something like this. And so I'm in the storeroom here because that's where it was and I didn't want to move it. But I wanted to show it to you. 